going on guys this is greg back with the super six man today we're just going to do a little routine maintenance on the charger uh we're just going to change the oil of the engine and we're going to also do an oil change on the supercharger component i'm going to show you guys how that work work as well but i've already gotten it um on the rhino ramps got the hood open and everything so we're just going to kind of go over what um what we're going to need and the steps that we're going to uh, take to do the oil change and everything so hope you guys enjoy the video all right all right so first we're going to need our oil um i use pinzoil this is recommended by dodge uh the pinzoil platinum full synthetic and this is actually the first time i'm using the uh, high mileage and it just so happens they ran out of the regular kind which is what i had been using i said well i think i need high mileage anyway because my car is actually over well over seventy five thousand miles so i'm right at about 82 83 so i think now would be a the best time than ever to uh, start using the high mileage oil. So we're gonna need six quarts of the oil. So one big one and one little one will give us six quarts. Um, and I think the rest of the trim levels as well in the Chargers and the Challengers take um, about six quarts. I know the, the six cylinders do. I think the V8s do, but I'm not quite sure. Um, and then uh, we're gonna need our filter. The, I'm actually able to find this filter here at Walmart as well. Uh, you may save yourself a couple of dollars rather than getting them from the dealer. And when I first started doing my oil changes, I used to go to the dealer to get them, but when I found out that Walmart was carrying the 15 and up filters as well, I started getting them from there and just starting to save a couple of bucks on it. So uh, for the six cylinders, it's gonna be this one, the MO349 um, oil filter. And we're also gonna need um, uh, funnels, depending on you know how far you have to pour into your filler spout or your filler hole, uh, a long one or a short one. Of course, we're going to need our uh, pan. This pan will hold six quarts or a little bit more uh, to help us dispose of the oil later. Um, we're also going to need our uh, supercharger oil uh for our supercharger and then we'll go over how that works as well i think this is maybe about eight or nine ounces uh it doesn't take very much so we're going to need one of these to change the supercharger oil all right and also some paper towels um, i generally like to use shop towels because they're a little bit more durable but I, durable but i ran out of them so we're just going to use regular old paper towels all right all right guys so uh with any trim level of a charger or challenger uh, if you can locate your um, oil filter, then you pretty much got it made because generally all the drain plug or the drain pans are located underneath the car. But it's just a matter of locating your filter and how accessible it is. And these three sixes, uh, the filter is right there staring at you as soon as you open the hood. I just use this large socket here to go on and um, I use my ratchet to get this off. So uh, the last one I had, I was using some pliers and I actually stripped this all off so I had to get a new one. And then I wanted to make sure that didn't happen again so I actually got a, a socket uh, to fit over that uh, to help me get that off a lot cleaner. Um, and then, you know, a lot of you guys might be still, your car might be new enough to where you're still up under warranty and you're getting your free oil changes. You know, I would advise you, to, you know, to go ahead and take advantage of that. But when your warranty runs out and you want to save a couple of dollars, you know to you know do extra mods or put that money somewhere else then really changing your own oil is the way to go um, and like i said i found that it wasn't that much work so uh, let's go up under the car uh, first we're going to need our 10 millimeter socket uh, and this is actually to access the uh, undercarriage of the car or the maintenance area of the car um, if you look over there, there's a plastic belly pan, which generally all the cars are going to come with to kind of help protect the uh, the bottom of the engine from water and stuff. You need you need this plastic water pan here, or belly pan, um, and you're going to have about maybe four or five screws to get this off, and that's what we're going to use the uh, 10 millimeter socket for. Uh, and if you look really closely, I've already taken that off, and you can see that. Um, what that screw looks like that bolt looks like right over there i can't quite reach my finger in to show you but you can see the bolt so you have about four or five of those and they tie in 
uh, right here. So you get those out, one on this side, one on that side, and then a couple underneath, underneath here. And then we take our, our plastic belly pan off. So now what you, if you got that off, you can access the, uh, the drain pan. And then on the other side, here is our drain plug here. So we're gonna use a half inch socket to access this bolt and get it off so we can drain the oil. All right guys, so we got the, uh, most of the oil drained out there. Uh, it's so windy out here, man. You know, the, the wind just kind of blew oil all over here. So it's normally not this messy, but like I say, the weather, I'm trying to get the weather to cooperate with anything. And if it's some wind noise, I apologize for that. It's very windy out here. Uh, so I got a little mess there to clean up, but we're going to come back uh, and finish the video in just a second. All right, guys, so we got our drain plug back on under the bottom. And we're just going to go ahead and access the uh, oil filter here. All right, this way here. And it's counterclockwise to access the filter. Get that off. Once you get it loose, the rest of it could be done with your hand. And then you just pull it out just like that. So we're going to go ahead and just pull this out and uh, detach it from the cap. And then we're going to insert the new one in. All right, now the new one looks just like the old one. I've already taken it out of the box and attached it to the cap, and we're just going to stick it back in. Get that good and tight. And it doesn't have to be super tight, but just once you... Uh, Go clockwise and turn here, and then you want to get just enough when it stops. Should be good enough. So I don't want to that. All right. So now that we got the uh, filter, the new filter in, and the drain plug, you always want to make sure that you have your drain plug on before you start pouring your oil in. So we're going to go ahead and fill our uh, engine back up with oil. So here is our uh, fill spout here. So we're just going to unloose this. Take it out. And then this is where we're going to pour our oil at. Okay, so we have our filter here. Um, I probably really don't need a filter here, but just to be on the safe side where I don't spill anything, I'm going to use this short filter here and it just kind of lays over like this before you add your oil you always want to make sure that you double check uh, the type of oil with the cap so that you don't make a mistake and put the wrong kind of oil in so just to double check uh, the cap says 5w20 5w20 all right so let's go ahead and pour this oil in and get it capped back up and then we can finish the oil change Okay guys, so we got our oil poured in and we got our cap back on nice and snug. Um, I think it's just a push and a twist. So, uh, so that's on securely, make sure you double check that. And then you wanna make sure that you keep your old containers uh, so that you can transfer the used oil into here so you can take it and uh, get it recycled. You don't wanna dispose of that uh, anywhere else. Uh, but at a recycling facility and I think AutoZone and uh, Advanced Auto will take used oil free of charge so you want to make sure you do that okay so now we got the engine oil changed we're going to go to the uh, supercharger component oil and you just you have two brass um, screws at the top one's a dipstick and one's an oil filler um, screw but you can also fill it back up through the dipstick side so I generally just take off just one side 
and uh, fill it back through here. So I'm not going to go through the whole process. I don't want to bore you with that, but this is how I fill mine. I just take this up and, and pour the excess, not the excess, pour the new oil in here. And then at the bottom, the way you drain it is if you look down here, there's a, there's a braided cord here. And on the end of it is a bolt. So we're going to take that bolt off. Uh, we're going to actually before we take the bolt off there's a hole down here in the belly pan area we stick it through there we take off the bolt and drain that uh, six or uh, six to eight ounces into a, uh, a metal cup and then we dispose of that and then we put the bolt back on and then we come back up and then we refill it uh, in here and then this is good for 7,000 miles so uh, that's the process that we're going to use to change the supercharger oil. Really simple. Um, and, you know, we want to take good, good care of this and everything else on our engine. But this is just some minor maintenance that I did today just to kind of, you know, take care of the car. You want to make sure you're taking care of your car and preserving your baby. Nobody's going to take care of it like you. Um, we're also going to make sure we empty the oil can, oil catch can. Um, and I think that's going to be all uh, up underneath the hood. Um, I noticed that my coolant level is a little low. I'm going to, you know, top that off as well. And then I think we'll be good to go and ready for the road. Um, and then that's going to do it for this video. Uh, I hope this can help whether you're, not, whether you're driving a um, 3, 6, 5, 7, 6, 4, or a 6.2 car. I hope that you can use this video if you if ever there's a point where you're changing your own oil. Um, like I said, it's just a matter of locating where your filter is is really the key, and if that's is accessible or not. So uh, hopefully you guys are all having a great Saturday. Make sure you stay safe. Take care of your baby. We're gonna actually clean her up uh, after we finish with this. You know, it's a nice day today. We're going to clean her up, make sure she's nice and clean and shiny, and then take her out for a little drive and show off a little bit. All right. So I appreciate you guys watching. Hope all is well with everyone, and I'll catch you in the next one. Later.